Got a beautiful little power problem for you here. Eight to the X, where we are trying to solve for X, equals two to the 56th minus four to the 26th, all divided by 30. And I can tell you X is a nice number. We're not gonna get some weird log of 30 base two kind of answer here. We're going to get a nice answer. That should be surprising because clearly two, four, and eight, the bases of our different exponential expressions are related to each other. But what on earth is 30 doing in this problem? This is a great example of a problem where we really wanna understand our power rules to be able to manipulate it. For example, one of the first things we wanna do when we have exponential expressions and we're trying to solve some kind of equation where the variable is actually in one of the exponents is that we wanna state everything in terms of the same base if we can. Now again, for eight, two, and four, that's relatively simple. For 30, that seems like it's gonna be a problem. But in general, you never wanna focus on the part of your question that's going to be a problem. By definition, that's weird to us and we don't really know what to do, so let's focus on the parts that we do know what to do with. Eight, for example, is two to the third. So I'm gonna write this instead as two to the third to the x power. Two to the 56th is already good. It's in terms of a base two already. But then four, we're going to write as two squared instead. And so that becomes two squared to the 26th power. And again, this whole thing is divided by 30. Now, like I said, this is a great problem demonstrating that we genuinely understand what's going on with our power rules. For example, when you raise a power to a power, as we have in a couple different places in this expression, your power rules tell you to multiply those powers. So this becomes two to the three X power, three times X equals two to the 56th. We're still not doing anything there. Minus two to the two times 26 is 52. Now at this stage, we have to be careful. Students are always tempted to say, oh, two to the 56th minus two to the 52nd. Isn't that something like two to the fourth? But no, there is no special rule for subtracting different powers of a common base. We have rules for multiplying and dividing and raising powers to powers, but no special rules for adding or subtracting powered expressions with the same base. What we can do with those expressions though is factor out whatever the smallest power is that they have in common. In other words, two to the 56th is literally 56 twos all multiplied together. Two to the 52nd is 50 twos multiplied all together. And so clearly these two terms must have those 52 twos in common. So on this left side, we're not gonna do anything for now. We're just gonna leave that as two to the three X power. But on this right side, we're now going to factor out two to the 52nd, which is going to leave a two to the fourth, two to the 52nd times two to the fourth is how we get two to the 56th. And of course, since we're factoring the two to the 52nd out of itself, it leaves one. That whole thing is still divided by 30, and it's almost time to deal with that 30. You may have wondered from the very beginning, why didn't we just evaluate two to the 56th minus four to the 26th, and then you know take a logarithm or something to solve this one? And while we could, those numbers are awfully large, and so we're trying to avoid evaluating whenever we can. But two to the fourth minus one, those numbers are small enough where we can evaluate. Two to the fourth is of course the same thing as 16, and 16 minus one is 15. So in fact, this expression is the same as two to the three X equals two to the 52nd times 15 over 30, and 15 over 30, of course, simplifies into one over two. And finally, we get two to the three X power is equal to two to the 51st power, using once again our power rules, subtracting those exponents because we are now dividing powers of two. At this stage, we really don't need the bases anymore. Instead, it is simply the case that that exponent three X needs to be equal to 51. We can divide by three, divide by three, and get X equals 17. So there you have it. No crazy evaluations necessary. And the part of the problem we were worried about that over 30 ended up canceling away. I did not put you in low power mode. That's why this is happening.